over these real quick. Um, I know, but I have, I got to make sure I cover have enough time. That's why I told you guys it's going to be kind of um, quite a bit of content kind of working through. But I wanted you guys to at least get started. So at least on a problem, so you can at least kind of double check. First thing, guys, we have points. So let's plot those points. You can see that they're obviously going left and right. Okay, so those are your two foci. That's helpful because now that tells us that my center is at 0, 0, and also my transverse axis is now horizontal. Right? So just by plotting two points, I was able to figure out what B was, and I was also able to figure out that my transverse axis has to be horizontal. Right? Because your foci and your vertices lie on the transverse axis. Right? Just by plotting two points, you're able to figure out both those pieces of information. Remember, guys, the center is always the midpoint of your two foci, just like the midpoint of your two. Um, <coughs> transverse axis is the distance from your ver from vertex to vertex. Okay. So remember, the distance from your vertex to vertex is is um, is well, that's the length of your transverse axis. So we could say that three is equal to two a. That means a is now equal to 3 halves. So now we're going to deal a little bit of fraction operations. That's OK. We can deal with fractions. Um, again, we're trying to identify what is our a, b, and our c. So if a is 3 halves, that means a squared is 9 fourths. Just squaring both sides, squaring 3 halves. 3 halves times 3 halves is 9 fourths. Yes? Yeah. OK. B is equal to 5, so B squared is equal to 25. Right? Wait, wait what? Yeah. I'm sorry, C, right? Sorry, thank you. Good catch. C is equal to 5, so C squared is equal to 25. So now I have the equation 9 fourths plus B squared equals 25. How would you do that? Yes. The distance from your vertex to vertex is your transverse axis. So that length from vertex to vertex is 3. So A, remember, the distance from your center to your vertices is A. So distance from vertice to vertice, or vertex to vertex, is 2A. So they're saying the distance from vertex to vertex is 3. So we've got to divide that by 2 to get A. Um, now, on this example, could if we need to solve this, we don't really want to be dealing with fractions and whole numbers, right? So, could I? Is it okay then if I rewrite twenty-five as a hundred over four? Yes. Well, because if I'm going to do fraction operations, hundred over four is the same thing as twenty-five. But watch what happens if I subtract nine fourths. I have to have common denominators. Right? So I don't want to do 25 minus 9 fourths. I want to rewrite 25 as 100 fourths. 100, well, I'm not getting to the point yet. 100 fourths minus 9 fourths is going to be equal to 81 fourths. 91. Sorry, right, thank you. OK. Now, it's a fraction. But you guys are freaking out like there's something like there's wrong with the fractions. So. Let's think about what is the information we need for an equation. We need the center. We need a squared and b squared. Okay, a squared, we got. We have b squared. So we know that the horizontal transverse axis or the transverse axis is horizontal. So therefore, I'm going to have x again. Center's at zero zero. So I'll just do x squared over my a squared, which is nine fourths, minus y squared over my b squared, which is 91 fourths, equals 1. Now, I can tell you that typically your problem or your answer is not going to be written like that. We don't really want to be dividing by a fraction. So we got to think, well, what is the same thing as dividing by a fraction? Multiplying by the reciprocal. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, I can write my answer like this. 4 x squared ninths minus 4 y squared 91st equals 1. And that would be the answer that I am looking for. 